My name's Candace Higgins. I'm 48. I've raised six kids and it's taken a toll on my looks. I want to look pretty and sexy. So please make me younger. Today the game plan is to add in some extensions. I just want to give her more fuller volume at the bottom. I'm going to center part it after we do the touch up and give her a Kim Kardashian finish, flipping the hair out and make it full and luscious. Oh, when I'm done with her, she's definitely going to look younger. Never use box color, okay? Always come to a professional to do. But if you really, really have to, because of this economy, you can just do the T-zones right here and save some money, use half a tube, T-zones only, style your hair like normally. For high lift blondes, if you want to get rid of some of that gold and too much yellow in your hair, use a shampoo that has purple or violet pigment in it. Wash it like normally and you'll get a nice little hue and it tones it for you. Okay, done with color now. I'm going to start her makeup while she processes. I'm going to give her flawless skin. Um, I'm going to give her more of a dewy finish. And then as far as eyes, I'm going to keep it in the browns and pink tones. Very, very light, very sheer, something she could do at home. I'm using a little primer right before her foundation. It's really great because it fills in all the imperfections, any holes, dents, or whatever you have, so that the foundation goes in really smooth. I'm going to fill in her eyebrows a little bit with a little bit of my blonde eyeshadow, just to fill in and give it a little more definition. A great idea is to have your eyebrows designed professionally and then if you have some tweezers, just touch up and follow the same design they have. It kind of holds you off for another week. Now Candace doesn't need harsh lines, eyeliner, dark black, uh, brown. I'm just going to put a little brown eyeshadow to open up her eyes. We are keeping it light with the makeup, but I'm going to add a little individual lashes right in the corner of her eyes just to give her a little spark. Best way to apply individual lashes is with your little tweezers. I always squirt a little bit of the lash glue right there so I can just pluck, dip, and add. Okay, we just washed out the color. Now we're ready to sexify. Adding some clip-in extensions in there and blowing her out, beautifully flipped out center part. It's very important right after your shower to untangle your hair and shape your hair in the manner in which you're going to style it. If you leave your hair washed, brushed all the way back, you're going to get a crazy cowlick right in the front and it's not going to do what you want it to do. It's very important to start at the front, your blow dries. Always shape the fringe area first, the sides, and then leave the back for last. Now I'm going to add in some clip-in extensions and finish with a nice style. Yeah, I've never had extensions before. I'm very excited. When your hair is really frizzy, you just grab a little section, smooth it out with your fingers. The warmth of your fingers shuts the cuticles and gives you a more sleek, smooth finish. And we're ready for the huge reveal. A three, one, two, three. Oh my God. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I think Norma did an excellent job. She saw what I've been dying to see again. I miss my long hair so much. And it just made me feel like me again. Oh, Mama, you <laughs> suck them. Thank you so much. I love this. She was extremely shocked at her makeover. I think it was a little hard for her to take in. She was speechless, and all her emotion just came out. Those were tears of joy, absolutely.